friends, it's Katie, makeup artist and founder of beautyandthebeauty.com and in this video I'm going to teach you a really cool trick that makes your lips look full and really cool just using lip liner, your concealer or foundation and a lip gloss. Now hopefully you have these lying around at home already. So you want your lip liner to be a few shades darker than your skin tone. You want your foundation or your concealer to be your color of foundation or concealer. And you want a lip gloss that can be any color. Now I'm going to be using this lip liner here. It's one of my favorite shades. It's quite a few shades darker than my skin tone, but it gives a really cool matte um, really just quite current look. Now, what you're gonna do, grab your liners and you're firstly gonna line your lips. And to line your lips, if you've never lined your lips before, use your pinky finger as a stabilizer and just gently feather along the line. You don't have to press too hard. Little feathery strokes makes it really really easy okay now the bottom lip starting from the middle to the corners okay now we've lined our lips now we're going to fill our lips with the same color now if your liner is quite hard then I recommend applying a little bit of lip balm first and that will just give you a little bit more slip and help the liner apply more effortlessly. Smudge together to distribute to the top lip and then fill in any gaps. Now, don't forget the juicy part of your lip. I call this the juicy part of your lip here because by filling a little bit of the lip here, it helps the lip look fuller because it creates a look of more expansive color. So this is a good tip to do with your liner, with your lipsticks. Okay, so we've lined our lips. Now you're gonna grab your foundation or your concealer, whatever is at hand. I'm gonna use my concealer. I'm gonna put a little bit onto the back of my hand, just a dot like that. Then with my ring finger, I use my ring finger because it has the lightest touch. So it's really handy in makeup application because it's got the lightest touch so it's easier for makeup application. Better to apply lightly than too heavily build up rather than wipe off. Okay, so dab the foundation or your concealer to the middle of your lip, like so. Smudge together before it sets. Dab on the top, keep blending. Mm, with a clean finger, just pat so it all just distributes nicely. And what you're looking to achieve is a kind of ombre effect. So the edges and the corners of your lips look slightly dark with your lip liner, but where you've applied a little bit of your foundation or concealer in the middle, it looks lighter. And what this will do is it will create not only a really kind of natural lip look for you with your chosen lip liner shade, but it also make your lips look fuller. And the final finishing touch is to grab your lip gloss and you're just going to apply this into the middle of your lips. Now top tip, if you want to keep your lip gloss wand clean, apply a little dab of the gloss onto the back of a clean hand and that will stop you mixing your lip colour into your lip gloss. So again, with my ring finger, I'm going to apply the gloss just into the center. And the reason I'm doing this is by applying the lighter shade in the middle and the gloss in the middle, it's gonna further give my lips a bit more of a bee stungy look. Plus, if you're someone that's not a lover of gloss because you don't like your hair getting caught into it, by just applying it in the middle, you're gonna get the look of gloss, but without the annoyingness of wispy hairs getting stuck. Having said this, this gloss I'm using, it's more of a nourishing oil and a gloss kind of uh, if a gloss and an oil had a baby, it would be this. It's beautiful. Tap 
the middle, top as well, and then just press your lips together. And you've just created a really beautiful lip look. So this is the finished look and it's just using a lip liner, foundation or concealer and a bit of gloss in the middle. So I hope you've got something similar at home that you can try this technique with. It's a really fun way to use products that perhaps you haven't used for ages to give your lips a really different and kind of just full and cool look. Hope you love trying this trick as much as I've loved making it for you. And I will see you soon in another video. I can't speak today, see you soon in another video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.